Thank you for the introduction. Uh, thank you for your attention and your patience. Um, uh, now I bring you a different talk. Um, is, is also the results of the research of a graduate student. Uh, is assessment of image quality criteria from digital radiography. So we know image quality control in digital radiology is an important tool. Uh, it's important to reduce uh, non-conformities, um, improving diagnostic quality and radiation protection of the patient above all, and getting the right diagnosis is a key aspect of healthcare. Our purpose was to assess the image quality criteria from examinations and digital radiography based on quality control charts, abdominal, chest, and extremities radiographs to demonstrate the importance of implementing an image control system, quality control system. So the, the, the type of study, um, quantitative and retrospective, our sample, it was uh, 1,200 radiographers uh, grouped in 60 uh, smaller uh, samples, each one with 20 exams. Uh, our instruments, uh, it was uh, a checklist based on the American College of Radiology Practice Guidelines for the performance of abdominal, chest, and extremities radiographs. Um, and uh, the quality charts, of course. Uh, so um, the, the conformities and non-conformities found uh, were recorded and used to establish three types of control charts for variability. Um, um, the the P-chart, the proportion of conformities and non-conformities. The NP-chart, uh, the total of, of number of non-conformity exams, and, and the C-chart, total number of non-conformities in each sample. I, in all cases, control limits uh, were established, mean variance and de deviation were determined. So our results, uh, Non-conformities groups, um, we can see we have incomplete, incorrect image post-processing um, and incorrect position and artifacts. Uh, subgrouping incomplete and incorrect image post-processing, uh, we have radiographer identification and um, the R and RL identification were the most scored of the non-conformities. Um, and um, in the incorrect positioning, we have only, and uh, I'm sorry to say that uh, only because we are so afraid to admit the error, and this is another question for, for further studies, but, but I, I must to rephrase this. Uh, we, we have only 196 uh, um, um, by for, uh, of uh, non-conformities. Artifacts, metal objects, and image-related um, um, 32 um, uh, in frequency. So um, we can see here in the, in the P charts uh, our, our limits, uh, the, the upper limit and the lower limit, and, and uh, the central limit is about 44%, and the, the upper uh, over here, you can see it's... Uh, uh, far from our central line, it's say 78%, and the lower control, 11%. Um, um, in this case, in the abdominal uh, radiograph. Uh, in, in the chest uh, radiograph, we have the, uh, also the P-chart, and we can see the, the, the central line is above, uh, uh, about around uh, 58%. For wrist, we have um, um, a central limit of 27%, uh, and in the ankle radiograph, uh, we have um, um, a central uh, limit of 28%. Uh, all the samples are inside of, of the limits. Uh, the process uh, is, as we say, under uh, statistical control. In the NP chart, we have also um, two abdominal radiograph, um, um, a central limit of 8.83% 8 
uh, and in the, radio, in the chest radiograph, we have um, um, a central limit of 11.5, and in the wrist, uh, uh, 5.4, and in the ankle, a uh, central limit of um, uh, 5.5. Um, also, is a, a statistical uh, con uh, the process is under the statistical um, control. For for the C chart, and I'm uh, uh, sorry, I, I'm going to put just this up. Uh, and just for in this case of the ankle, we have one that is out of the limit. Um, you can see over here, okay? So we have only uh, uh, the sample is located outside of the range. So in conclusion, this research allowed to, to the identification of different types of non-confirmities found in the abdominal, chest, and extremities radiographs, which have impact on image quality. Therefore, the existence of suitable quality control of the radiographic image is essential to achieve high quality standards in radiology departments and is recommended to do training course regularly, improving radiographers' performance and strategies to reduce the non-conformities uh, uh, must be implemented. Uh, quality improvements efforts can facilitate continuous improvement in safety, in performance and outcomes in the radiology department. Also, radiographs must be, uh, become more familiar with these basic tools and methodology of quality improvement and must be actively involved. The use of these tools implies that, that the targets for improvement are easily identified and that process is for analyzing, introducing, monitoring and assuming success, sustaining change. Thank you for your attention.